So I know you guys read Reboot in the title, but hear me out on this. What is going on, fellow board members? Welcome to another exciting episode here on Ord's Board. So before we get into the video today, guys, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button down below. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications. And as always, guys, make sure you hit that subscription button. It always helps. All right, guys, today we are taking a look at an article from People.com. Rick Moranis returns from 24 years acting hiatus to star in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids Reboot. So I know, like I said in the intro, you guys hear the word reboot, and I'm sure some of you cringe at the thought of a reboot, uh, especially of this. Uh, and when I say hear me out, this is what I mean. We're talking about Rick Moranis, the man who left acting to raise his children because his wife died. Um, a very noble thing for somebody to do and, and a very big prevalent part of my childhood, this guy. Uh, I mean, we're talking Little Shop of Horrors. I believe he was in, uh, I think he was in Little Giants. Uh, so uh, Little Shop of Horrors, Little Giants. Uh, you're talking Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Ghostbusters. Guys, I mean, this is Rick Moranis. He is a legend and I can't wait to see him come out of retirement. I'm just really excited to see him come out of retirement now that his kids are older. Um, and I think this is something that he deserves. So uh, if it's Rick Moranis coming back in a reboot, totally okay with it, guys. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the new film is titled Shrunk and will be directed by the original Helmer, Joe Johnston. Moranis played the scientist Wayne Zelinsky in the 1989 Disney classic and its 1992 sequel, Honey, I Blew Up the Kids. He also appeared as Wayne in the 1997's direct two video sequel, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. Guys, yeah, I totally, totally forgot about uh, Honey, we shrunk ourselves um and i actually remember watching that movie a lot i had a vhs of it and i watched it over and over again but uh, i really enjoyed all three of those movies i thought they were a lot of fun um and they took it in new and in interesting ways each movie so um i'm sure a lot of you haven't seen maybe those last two movies or for sure that last movie the reboot will take place decades after the first with frozen's josh gad starring as wayne's grown-up son so josh gad i believe is the guy who voices olaf uh in the frozen stuff he also plays uh what's the the guy to guest on um i can't remember the character's name in beauty and the beast the live action beauty and the beast uh but he's he essentially works for disney uh you know that that's that's what the umbrella he works under mostly gad tweeted about the news expressing how happy he was to see moranis back on screen and starring with him yeah i mean i would be too it's rick moranis a legend in his own right and he's coming back 24 years later i think any actor would be totally stoked to work with rick moranis at this point to quote, to say it's a dream come true to once again see Rick Moranis on the big screen is the understatement of the decade. But to say I get an upseat view of him returning to play one of his most iconic roles is the understatement of the century. Welcome back, hero. Absolutely, guys. Like I said, man, this is Rick Moranis. This is a guy who left the industry on top of his game. Um, I'm very, very excited to see what Rick Moranis has to bring back to the table. Um, I'm a huge fan of Rick Moranis, guys. Hopefully you can tell that because uh, this was a huge part of my childhood. And to see him come back after so many years, man, it, it really uh, brings warm warm feelings into my heart. Well, this is the first on-screen role for Moranis in 24 years after he decided to take a step back following his wife Ann Bolesky's tragic death. The actor lost his wife, a costume designer, in February 1991 to breast cancer with whom he had two children. Moranis slowly left the public life to focus on being a single father, but he's never retired from the business, as he told Hollywood Reporter in 2015. And I know they I've heard Rick Moranis' name buzzed around for many years now, um, but it's just, again, great to see that it, it's coming to light. To quote Moranis, I took a break, which turned into a longer break, he told THR at the time. But I'm interested in anything that I would find interesting. I still get the occasional query about a film or television role. As soon as one comes along, that piques my interest. His return comes months before Ghostbusters Afterlife hits theaters, another franchise in which Moranis plays a fan-favorite character. But unlike Shrunk, Moranis will not be returning to this summer's fresh take on the story. Okay, so that's kind of depressing. I would love to see him at least, you know, maybe make a cameo in the movie I think would be kind of cool um, just a quick uh, scene where he kind of comes in and says yeah I don't want any part of this been there done that and then walks off I think would be kind of cool but uh, yeah so it sounds like we're not gonna get that just wanted to read a little quote here uh, by Rick Moranis I think this is important um, 
I was working with really interesting people, wonderful people, he said. I went from that to being at home with a couple of little kids, which is a very different lifestyle, but it was more important to me. He added, I have absolutely no regrets whatsoever. My life is wonderful, which I think is a very great way to look at it, and especially guys with like this YouTube stuff, man. Don't ever let the family stuff go to the wayside. Um, family will always be there. Um, you know, this stuff is just, uh, it, it, it doesn't mean what family means. Uh, so I think, uh, we can learn a lot from Rick Moranis in this guy. So just make sure, uh, that you focus on your family first and foremost, because they're going to be the ones there for you through life. So anyway, guys, uh, very excited to see Rick Moranis return. Um, I'm okay with this reboot. I I'm excited for it. Um, I'm not going to hide that at all. Uh, but you know, maybe that's just me being a fanboy. But, hey, it is what it is, guys. Uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys are excited to see Rick Moranis uh, return, if you guys remember watching those movies as kids, or if you watched them, you know, years later, uh, just let me know what you guys think about this down below. All right, guys, so that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit the bell for notifications. And, as always, make sure you hit that subscription button. It always helps. Yeah, guys, uh, Rick Moranis is returning. Um... Can't wait to see what he does. I love all of you guys, and we will catch you on the other side. Peace.